Shalom, the Lord bless you. Welcome to Purpose and Marital Bliss with Pastor Honorine. I have a prophetic word for someone. God says I should tell you he is looking for people who are ready to make themselves available, to make their marriages available for him to use as an example to prove to the world that the marriages still work. God is looking for kingdom marriages to use as a showcase, to use as models, to prove to the world that marriage still works. In other words, God wants to use your marriage as a to show off to the world that in this kingdom, marriage still work. What will make you eligible to, to be used by God, for your marriage to be used by God, for the, you and your spouse have got to love God and have a personal relationship with God. And then secondly, you've got to live according to the precepts of God. You've got to align your marriage, align your will, align, live according to the precepts of God and be in line with purpose. Make yourself available and God will use you. God will make your marriage his business. God will make your marriage his personal business. God will ensure that your marriage works. God will ensure that your marriage is blessed. God will ensure that your marriage is whole and healthy and hearty. God says he is looking for people who will make their marriages available, who will make their kingdom marriages available for God to use them as an evidence to the world that marriage still works, for God to use your, God wants to use your marriage to show off and show the world that marriage still works, that marriage still works. But you've got to go back to the drawing board. Find out how God, what God expects of marriage. What was God's intention when he instituted marriage? Find that out and align yourself to God's will. There are some things that God expects of marriage. He says the man should love the wife as Christ loves the church and the woman should submit to, to the husband as unto Christ. It means there are standards that God expects. You've got to go back and find out what exactly does God expect. Hallelujah. God bless you. Shalom.